Welcome to episode 233 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're talking about why it was such a pain in the butt to get my driveway paved. <laughs> like it took years and the dogs are barking. <laughs> but the good times are old. This is Clarity Compressed. So I have a pretty big driveway. It goes uh, up to the front of the road. We have uh, several acres and I like it because my house is in the back of those acres. Not that I'm antisocial, but when I'm home, I want to be home. I don't want to hear the road. Well, I can still hear the road, but I don't want to see a lot of people, but I enjoy my neighbors. I enjoy those things. But all that to say, I need a lot of paving. My driveway is really long. Therefore, it's really expensive when you want anything done with it. And we just finished putting the top coat on our driveway after about five years. When we moved into this house, it didn't have a driveway at all. It just had stone. And so we put this layer of what is called binder down. And that's the first layer. Well, first you have to tear up the ground. You have to lay a foundation. You have to put big rocks and then smaller rocks on top of that. And so it's nice and solid so it doesn't sink when cars drive on it. And then you put a layer which is called binder on top of it. And that binder can sit on there for a year or two years or three years. But eventually the binder isn't meant to be the thing that's on the top. It's meant to be the underlayment. And then you put on the top coat. And that top coat is this nice top smooth coating that the kids like to ride their bikes on and ride their skateboards on. And um, it doesn't hurt your feet when you walk on it. And we just put the top coat on, the third layer. It's got me thinking about all the things we need to do in our lives that we want to look like the top coat right away. But actually, whenever we see somebody with a real healthy top coat, it's probably because they've done the work of the other layers underneath it. If, you, if we would have went ahead and uh, just put the top coat over top of the rocks and the stone and the crush that was here to begin with, guess what? It would have looked awesome right out of the gate. It would have been cheaper right out of the gate, but within a year, it would start bending and warping and breaking down, right? You see the life lesson I'm going for here? It took us five years to get to this point. Now, it should have only taken us three years, but what happened was this little thing called a pandemic. And when the pandemic hit, priorities shift, finances shift, the ability to book contractor shifts. And here we are five years later, two years after we thought it would be done, and it's finally done. I kind of think that the rest of my life really is reflected in this paving story. So many times and so often, I feel like putting the top coat down first. Sometimes I do put that on top coat first, and then it causes three times the amount of work because the top coat needs to be taken up because it gets messed up and I'll never get the result that I want. And then sometimes, I, I kind of go in with a plan saying, hey, I'm going to put the layers down and I get two layers in out of the three layers and I realize this is a lot of work. I get tired of it. I get neglectful of it. And before you know it, I'm wondering why I don't have the result that I wanted or that I thought I would have when I set out. And sometimes, and more often than not, which is one of the reasons I'm actually thinking about this this morning, is I'm realizing that things take time, especially good things. Actually, good things only take time. Good things never, like, and when I say good things, I'm not talking about like good things, like I could go buy a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup ice cream sundae right now. That would be a good thing, not necessarily for my health, but for my emotional health. I could get that right now, but that's not gonna bring me any lasting value. That's gonna last about 13 minutes if I'm lucky, and then it's gone. I'm talking about the good things that will stand the test of time, the good things that will be able to drive, metaphorically, drive on and live life on and have a bunch of good things on. Like now that we have this pavement, you see the, if you're watching, you see the basketball hoop in the back, you can actually have a lot of basketball games on a surface that's smooth and doesn't make the ball bounce in all kinds of weird ways or hurt your feet or crush your knees when you fall or all that. We're gonna have parties on this drive. We're gonna have friends over. At some point, we'll probably sell this house and guess what? The fact that we did the paving right means we're going to get a lot more value out of the house. So the things that take a long time that have lasting value are the things that take a little work and the things that take a little time and the things that take a little planning and sometimes a lot of planning and sometimes a lot of money. 
but sometimes a lot of sacrifice to make it happen. So whatever you're in the middle of today, if you're in the middle of one of those phases where maybe you're just tearing up the driveway, maybe you're just laying the binder, maybe you're in the season of waiting between the binder and the top coat, or maybe it's time to put the top coat down and spend the money and get it to where it needs to be so you can enjoy it in the future. Whichever one of those seasons you are in today, I hope you can zoom out for a second and think about where you wanna be down the line and what these decisions that you're making today will give you down the line. And hopefully that'll give you a little bit of hope. Hopefully that will give you a little bit of fortitude and persistence. Man, if you're a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Raising kids can be so frustrating sometimes. Our two-year-old right now, he's just not sleeping well. He's waking up. It's easy to get frustrated with that. But you know what? Giving him love and attention through this means he's gonna be a healthier kid. And we're gonna have a healthier relationship. I have teenagers right now. Sometimes they can be annoying. One of my teenagers is probably editing this podcast right now. But I hope in the end that they see the sacrifices that we make as parents for them, the decisions we're making for them, the investment we're putting in them, time, energy, money, listening ear, patience, willingness to listen, willingness to stand next to them, understand them, know them, build relationship. We want that to pay dividends for the rest of our lives, my wife and I. And I believe it will, not just for them, but for my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. They're gonna watch this podcast one day, probably not, but maybe. And if they do, I'm doing this for you. You're part of the underlayment. So you can go do all the things that you wanna do. So I hope that zooms you out a little bit this morning. A little story about paving, a couple of dogs in the B-roll because everybody wants to see the dogs in the B-roll. Look, they're sitting right here just chilling. There they are. They're just hanging out behind me, listening to the podcast. So I hope you take this. I hope it gives you a little perspective on your day and your situation. As always, pursue clarity. And I will see you next week. We came to fight.